So in this video I'm going to show you how to use an LM7805 for low current devices in your remote control systems. Firstly you're going to need a hobby knife, you're going to need an LM7805, you can buy them on eBay in packs of 10 for like 2 bucks. A servo wire, uh, you can use heat shrink or tape, uh, ta heat shrink's a lot better. Uh, some just miscellaneous wire, a heat gun, or you can use the barrel of your solder iron for shrinking the heat shrink so you have your 12 volts inputs going in through this pin here and uh, out and the outputs will be 5 volts the ground is the same for all of them as you can see here's the schematic here so the 12 volts goes in this the ground goes in this and the 5 volts goes in this pin the ground is uh, used for both of them as you can see in this diagram here to see how much power you can draw, you can um, measure the current you're going to be drawing from your 5 volts line times the voltage drop. So if you're putting five, if you're putting 12 volts in and 5 volts out, that's a 7 volts drop in, um, in, the, in the circuit and let's say you're drawing 1 amp, so that's 7 volts drop times 1 amp so that's 7 watts of power which is actually quite a lot. If you're going to be drawing that much you're going to need a heatsink. You're going to start off by shorten, shortening these legs, you're left with these little stubby legs. Next, make sure you've got a clean solder tip. Uh, then you're going to tin it just with a little bit of solder. Tin your tin the legs of your voltage regulator. Also tin the wires, the wires that you're going to be using. Now that they don't have to be that long, so just make them whatever length you need them. Next, we have to prepare the servo connector for use with the voltage regulator. There's a little plastic thing on the connector that you pull up and then you should be able to just pry, pry out the wire and then you're left with just a positive and negative servo connector. Strip the ends of the wires, tin them and then we'll get on to putting it together. So we've got our output wire which is the servo connector, we've got the input wires which is just two wires and we've got the voltage regulator all tinned up and shortened and ready for soldering. So next, um, follow this diagram here and you should be fine. So your regulator should now look like this. Uh, you can have your input wires sticking one way and your output wires sticking out the other way. So uh, as you can see, that's, that's how you do that. Remember the negative is in the middle and the positives are on the outside. The leftmost is the input and the rightmost is the output. 5 volts. So next you just want to get a piece of heat shrink that's long enough to cover up the whole thing. So once you've got your piece of heat shrink you just slide it. If you're not using heat shrink you can just coat it in tape. So there you have it, a finished voltage regulator. This is the output on this side. You can connect that to something like a re receiver. Power your receiver or a flight controller. So now when you connect the output to your 5 volts power system uh, you'll have a clean 5 volts. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and bye.